Sometimes I'm confronted with a situation where I need just a little bit of gasoline and I don't have any on hand. I could drive into town to buy a quart of gasoline or some other small volume, but it would take more in gasoline to drive to town than I would be purchasing, which kind of defeats the purpose and isn't very cost effective. So here's how to get just a little bit of fuel out of your vehicle without having to siphon and without having to drive into town to buy fuel. What you need is some kind of catch can. You also need a gasoline resistant hose and a valve stem core removal tool like you would use to get the valve stem core out of a tire. So we'll go over to the vehicle, open the hood, and locate something that looks like a valve stem on a tire. On my truck it's right here, but the placement on your vehicle may be different. I'll take off this little cover and remove this valve stem core in here. This is called a Schrader valve. Before you do this, make sure the engine is off and has been off for quite some time because when the engine is running and immediately after the engine is running, there's very high pressure here and if you release this valve, you'll get gasoline all over the place and that can be a bad situation. So this car has been sitting overnight so there won't be any pressure in here. So take the removal tool and loosen it up. Take out the core. Be sure not to drop any pieces into the abyss of the engine compartment. Next, take the hose and place it over the whole fitting. And the diameter of hose that you choose should be such that it fits very snugly over that fitting. You don't want gasoline to leak past. And just insert the other end into the catch can. Next, we'll go into the cab of the vehicle. And we're going to insert the key into the ignition and we're going to turn it to the on position but not start the car. And when I turn it to the on position you'll hear the fuel pump prime for about a second or two. So we'll go to on. I don't know if you heard it but it clicked on and it clicked off. So that just shot just a little bit of fuel into the container. I'll turn it back and then on again. And every time I do that, I'm pumping gas into my container. And if you care to see some evidence, look right there. The spoils of my effort without having to drive to a gas station. And a view from the outside when I perform the procedure. No muss, no fuss. Now all I need to do is take the hose off of the valve, reinsert the core, and I have some extra gas for motorcycle or power equipment or anything else you can use gasoline for. Thanks for watching.